The fall of the Berlin Wall changed German history while also influencing the rest of Europe to change the way they governed their people. The largest events that led up to the fall of the Berlin Wall were a series of civil protests called the Peaceful Revolution. The events that followed the fall of the Berlin Wall acted as a domino effect. After East and West Germany reunified, the communist government in Germany fell. This inspired other countries in Europe to end communism, therefore causing the Soviet Union to fall. After six years of fighting, World War II was won by the Allies. The countries that made up the Allies were America, Great Britain, France, and the Soviet Union. As a consequence of losing the war and bringing destruction to the rest of Europe, the Allies divided Germany into four sectors. There was a democracy in West Germany and West Berlin, and there was a communist government in East Germany and East Berlin. Though Berlin was in East Germany, an agreement was made that America, Great Britain, and France would have control of West Berlin. That is how it stayed for the next 16 years. In 1961, 200,000 people, a sixth of East Germany's population, had fled to West Germany with high hopes for a better life. During this period of time, East Germany had a suffering economy, inadequate political system, and poor living conditions compared to West Germany. These living conditions gave the citizens the inspiration to flee to the West. The, one of the ways I've described the differences between East and West Berlin is like going in the Wizard of Oz from Technicolor to black and white and, and back. Uh, West Berlin being the Technicolor and vibrant side and, and East Berlin being the black and white, very dreary and plain. On August 13, 1961, the Soviet Union commanded the East German military to forbid anyone from crossing the East German border. Now it was nearly impossible for East Germans to travel outside of East Germany. All East Germans were trapped in their country. On August 15, 1961, construction of the Berlin Wall, a 96-mile-long, 12-foot-high barrier, began. German citizens and guards were forced to roll out bundles of barbed wire that divided their country. The wall of barbed wire went through the capital of Germany, Berlin. Throughout the time that the Berlin Wall stood, many people tried to escape East Germany by finding illegal ways to cross the Berlin Wall. Because of this, the government had to make enhancements to the Berlin Wall. Some enhancements included adding guard towers, adding a second wall in order to create a no man's land, replacing the old barbed wire fence with an electric fence, guard dogs, and floodlights. During the time that the wall stood, it is estimated that 40,000 people were able to escape East Germany. Nobody knows for certain how many people died trying to escape to freedom, but the estimate is 1,300. While the economy in the West was thriving, the Eastern economy continued to decline. For the next 28 years, the Berlin Wall stood guard over East and West Germany. The Berlin Wall cuts Germany in two, separates East and West, communism and democracy, repression and freedom. On October 9, 1989, 70,000 protesters gathered in the city of Leipzig, the largest city in East Germany by population, shouting Wir sind das Volk, which translates to We are the people, implying that the citizens of Germany should have more power in their government and should not be separated by the Berlin Wall. This is the first protest in the Peaceful Revolution, a series of non-violent protests against the communist government in East Germany. The ultimate goal of these protests was not to overthrow the government, but to revise it. On November 4, 1989, one million East German citizens demanded for a democracy and free elections. This was the largest and most effective protest that has ever occurred in German history. Because of the large amount of people in these protests, the government felt that they needed to make significant changes. After 28 years, the East German government opened up their borders into West Germany on November 9, 1989. Hours before the announcement, a press conference was held by Gunter Schabowski, the leader of the East German Communist Party. He called this press conference to announce that East German citizens would be allowed to travel abroad. Once East Germans heard the news, they decided to do more than travel abroad. 
they were going to take down the Berlin Wall. Just hours after the government opened the checkpoints, hundreds of people had already left East Germany to be reunited with friends and family in the West. The government predicted it would take five years to completely remove the Berlin Wall. However, citizens started destroying it right away. In the end, it wasn't the government who got rid of the wall, it was the citizens of Germany who were able to get rid of the wall. It's always the same people who change things. Who pulled down the Berlin Wall? It was all the people in the streets. A Berlin Wall had fallen and the citizens of Germany changed their slogan. Wir sind das Volk, we are the people, changed to Wir sind ein Volk. We are one people. The Chancellor of West Germany, Helmut Kohl, and the leader of the Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev, met to discuss German reunification. This was an idea that Germany should be one country instead of two. Chancellor Kohl had created a ten-point plan that was the step-by-step -step process that would lead to German reunification. The main focus of this ten-point plan was creating a unified country with free and secretive elections. On March 18, 1990, 11,160,000 people arrived at the polls to vote in the first election held in Germany in over 40 years. After the votes had been submitted, it was final. 48% of the voting population was in favor of the Alliance for Germany, which supported reunification. On October 3, 1990, the German Reunification Treaty was signed. This was significant because Germany was now one country and free of communism. In August of 1991, massive protests began against the Soviet Union. These Soviet Union protesters were inspired by the non-violent protests that took down the Berlin Wall. These protests were a contributing factor to the fall of the Soviet Union. Both the government and the people of the Soviet Union realized that there was no way to turn back the clock. The massive demonstrations of the August days had demonstrated that the population would accept nothing less than democracy. After communism fell in Germany, the leaders of the 15 republics that made up the Soviet Union had a meeting in Moscow on December 25, 1991. On the same day, Mikhail Gorbachev stepped down from his position as leader of the Soviet Union. During this meeting, 14 of the 15 republics announced that they would no longer be part of the Soviet Union. Those republics were Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, Moldova, Ukraine, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, and the Russian Federation. The only republic that did not declare independence from the Soviet Union was Georgia. Because of the majority of the republics leaving the Union, the Soviet Union fell. Indeed, the breakup of the Soviet Union transformed the entire world's political situation, leading to a complete reformulation of political, economic, and military alliances all over the globe. The, the Berlin Wall come down was an amazing uh, historic event of, I think in the 20th century, one of the most important uh, single uh, 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 moments in history. The fall of the Berlin Wall changed German history while also influencing the rest of Europe to change the way they governed their people. The events following the fall of the Berlin Wall acted as a domino effect. When protests spread throughout East Germany, the government was forced to open the Berlin Wall. When the Berlin Wall fell in Germany, it caused German reunification. After East and West Germany reunified, the communist government fell in Germany. This led to other countries in Europe ending communism as well. These events led to a major reform in German and European politics, therefore making the fall of the Berlin Wall a major turning point in history. <laughs>